Chapter 6 Introduction to Paint Many of us like to draw and color pictures. It is an interesting activity, especially during the holidays when we are free. Knowing your interest, Microsoft has come up with a program called Paint. It is a part of Windows accessories and provides you everything you need to draw and paint. In Windows 10, you can draw on a blank drawing area. Also, you can draw in existing pictures. Introduction to Paint Software Drawing and painting is fun. Generally, we use pencil, eraser and colors for drawing and painting on a sheet. But you do not need all these things for drawing and coloring on the computer. In computer, we use the paint program to make our drawings. Uses of paint software It is very simple to use and has every tool needed for graphics editing. Draw circles, boxes, straight lines, curved lines, etc. We can fill and spray colors, change font colors. It can change the size of object, rotate it and cut out small portion of object and paste it in another picture. It is used for pasting the screenshots from other applications and it is used for changing images from one format to another. How to start paint program? On the desktop screen of Windows 10, click on Start button. Click on All Apps. Now, click on Windows Accessories. Finally, click on Paint. The Paint window will open. Components of Paint window The Paint window has the following components. Drawing area and ribbon. Drawing area the blank area in the center is called the drawing area. This is the part on which you can make any drawing. Ribbon The ribbon in paint includes a collection of drawing tools in toolbox and a collection of different colors in color box. Toolbox The toolbox is on the upper left side of the screen. Above the drawing area, it contains different tools which are used for making different pictures in the drawing area. To see their effects, click on different tools. Effect of some tools Icon Tools Description Rectangle Used to draw rectangles and square shapes Pencil Used to draw any freehand drawing in the drawing area. Brush. Used to draw and color the drawing. Airbrush. Used to spray colors in the drawing. Text. Used for writing text in the drawing area. Line. Used for drawing lines of varying thickness. Eraser. Used to erase any part of a picture. Fill with color. Used to fill a selected color in the drawing. Oval. Used to draw circles and ovals. Curve. Used for drawing a curved line. Polygon. Used to draw straight edged shapes. Rounded rectangle. Used for drawing boxes with round edges. Color picker. Used to pick a particular color from the drawing. Magnifier used to view the drawing in zoom mode. Freeform selection used to select irregular part of the image. Rectangular selection used to select rectangular area of the image. Color box A color box is present at the upper right side of the ribbon in paint window. It has different colors. 
you can select a color from the color box to draw the pictures and color them. Let us paint. We have learned the functions of tools in paint. Now, let us make a few drawing by using various tools. Make a greeting card. Suppose we want to draw a birthday cake with candles on the greeting card and write some well wishes as shown here. The steps will be as follows. Select oval tool from the shapes group. Draw ovals. You can change the thickness of the tool by size button or by pressing Ctrl plus plus Ctrl plus minus. Select line tool from the shapes group. Draw lines. You can change the thickness of the lines by size button or by pressing Ctrl plus plus Ctrl plus minus. Now it gives the shape of a cake. Change the color like red. Now select line tool from the shapes group. Draw candles. You can also choose different colors for different candles to make it more colorful. Select another color for the flame like yellow. Select oval tool from the shapes group. Draw flames. Select any other color for cake. Select fill with color tool. Click on drawing part of cake to fill it. Now your birthday cake is ready. Click on text tool. Choose your font color from colors group. Click on drawing area and type the message. Now your greeting card is ready to display. Saving the greeting card. It is very important that you should save your work frequently so that you don't lose it. After saving your drawing, you can use it further on your computer or share it with others in email. Save your drawing for the first time. You will need to give it a file name. Click on the file and then Click Save. On the Save as Type box, select the file format you want. In the File Name box, type a name and then click Save. Open and edit the greeting card. To open the greeting card you have saved, do the following steps. Click on the Start, All Apps, Windows Accessories, Paint. Click the file tab and then click open. Find the file name and click it. And then click open. The greeting card you have saved will be displayed on the screen. Now you can edit the greeting card if you want. Example, change the color of drawing, cake and save it again. Print your greeting card. You can print this greeting card on paper using the printer. Press Ctrl plus P or click on File tab and then click on Print. Ask your teacher to take color printout of your cake drawing if possible. In the same way, you can illustrate pictures on Sports Day, Independence Day, Environment Day, etc. You can also make posters using paint. Minimizing, maximizing or restore down and closing paint window. Click on the minimize button on the title bar and the window will be minimized and gone to the active program list on the task bar. Click over the paint button on the task bar. It will be maximized again. Now, click on the Restore Down or Middle button. You will find that the size of window is reduced. The Restore Down button now changed to Maximize button. Click on the Maximize button again. The window will come back to its original size. Save your file 
and click on the close button or alt plus f4 or click on file tab and then exit the window will shut and the program will close